वेलकम टू टेक्नो मैथ वे यू कैन फाइंड मैथमेटिकल शॉर्टकट टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ट्रिक्स क्लिक हेयर टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल विंडोज टेन फ्रॉम यू एस पी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ टू मेक बूटेबल यू एस पी डेस्क फॉर विंडोज टेन इफ यू हैवेंट प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द बिलो लिंक so to boot from the usb we need to make some changes in the bash setting and change the boot order and set the usb disk as a primary booting device so in order to go to the bash setting press the function key f8 on most of the laptops uh, it's function key f8 from where you can enter into the bash settings but if you are working on the desktop Ah, uh, you need to press the delete button. Once you go to the BIOS setting, go to the boot tab on the top. By clicking on the right arrow and make sure that the removable device is on the top. If it's below somewhere, you can just uh, you can make use of the uh, arrow keys on your keyboard to move the places. Once it is done, press F10 key and click on Yes. Now it will boot from the USB and load the Windows 10 setup. on the first screen windows setup screen just um keep it as it is and click on next click on install now it will take some time check the i accept license term and click on next now if you want to upgrade it click on upgrade and if you want to do clean installation click on custom so here i'm going to do clean installation so click on custom remember remember guys um, upgradation is uh, done when you have already a licensed version of windows 7 and or windows 8 installed on your machine and if you want to upgrade your windows operating system to windows 10 then you have to choose the option upgrade now here um, it will show you the available disks so create a new partition apply Click on OK. Select the partition where we have to install our operating system. Format the drive. Click on OK. And click on Next. Now it will copy all the files, all the set of files to our local drive. and um it will start the installation process it will take some time to complete this installation once the installation is done it will automatically restart your system Now it's going to restart your system, and remember, guys, as soon as it restarts, uh, do not forget to remove the USB disk from USB disk from your machine, because if you keep the USB insert, it will start the boot up process once again, and it will load the files from the beginning. Once this screen comes after restart, you can insert. your usb once again
now your operating system is getting ready it will again take some time Here you can use the custom setting or you can use the express settings. If you are going to the custom setting you can disable, um, you can personalize the setting and you can disable windows updates and all those things. But I'm just going to use the express settings. You can disable uh, windows update and windows firewall letter. Here just don't worry about it, just keep the screen create an account for the machine type any username that you would like and selecting windows 10 user type in password re-enter the password and type in any hint click on next and there you are now your operating system is ready again it will take some time to initialize the settings it is saying this won't take a long but I bet it will take some time let's start there you go you have your brand new windows 10 ready so there are many uh, different features have been added in in this version of windows and many have been removed but right now we are not getting into the features part because we will discuss those things in a separate video if you like the video keep sharing it and Subscribe to the channel to get the future updates. Thank you.